How do you turn this into this? What's going on guys? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today I'm going to share with you the system that I use when I'm doing an extended car camping trip to wash my clothes and make sure that everything stays smelling super fresh. The easiest way to do laundry in the outdoors without having to access a washing machine is to use the scrubba wash bag. That's right. Hold on a second there, Samantha. That just looks like a regular dry bag to me. That's where you're wrong. So let's take a minute and examine this a little bit closer. What seems to be an apparent dry bag, and you pull it inside out, that there are these tiny little scrubbers on here. And these are little hard pieces. And essentially what this does is that it acts like a washboard so that when you put your clothes in it, it actually grinds the dirt and the bug spray and the grease and anything else that might be on your camping clothes right out. You're not gonna get this action with a regular dry bag because it's just gonna be rubbing against a soft material. So this is the real ingenious here. So I'll show you how it works. So to use this bag, you just open her up and then we'll put some dirties in there. The bag says that you can do two pairs of socks, one pair of underpants and a shirt. But I'm going to go ahead and throw my hiking pants in there too. Because I'm short, my pants aren't that good. And still going to do a great job. You can fill this with water directly from a stream or you can use some water that you've brought. So right now I've used a 2.5 gallon Reliance container. And this is really handy if you're at the campsite because you can just head over to the water spigot and pick yourself up some water and bring it back to the campsite. And the soap that I use is the Sea to Summit Wilderness Wash. I really like using this in the outdoors because it's biodegradable and it is, see right there, leave no trace compliant. You just wanna make sure that you go at least 100 meters from water sources or I think that's about 320 feet from water sources to dump your water or dispose of your gray water according to park guidelines. Leave no trace, people. So you can see we've got our clothes in here and our clothes, you can fit as many clothes in this bag as up to this first line here. This is the clothes bag. And then you add water until it gets up to this amount here. So you notice I can get a full outfit inside of this bag right up to that clothesline there and you can kind of see through that little window. So go ahead and fill this up with water. And this generally takes about a gallon or so of water. You can get by with a little bit less. So I've got a little bit of water in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this Sea to Summit Wilderness Wash and I'm just going to measure out about a cap full, just like that. Don't need a ton. Go ahead, put that in there, and then we'll kind of swish the cap around and wash it out. I'm going to finish topping it off. So we've got the water filled up to the water line. So just like a regular dry bag, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna fold this over just like so. Go ahead and give it a clip. And there is a little valve right here. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna open that valve. You can hear some air rushing out of there. You're just gonna squeeze the air out of there. This way you get the most scrub for your effort on your clothes. Oop. Once water starts coming out, it's good to go. Close it up and you're gonna go ahead, you're just gonna kind of rock this bag back and forth. Now you can see on the back here, this is where the scrubbers are, right? So you don't wanna push down on the scrubbers. You want those scrubbers to be down against the ground so that your clothes are rubbed up against them. And depending on the size of the load, it can take anywhere from 
about 30 seconds to three minutes of scrubbing if you have extremely soiled clothes. And you have got a little viewing window here so you can watch the clothes getting clean as you scrub them. But really make sure you take the technique of pushing the clothes into these little scrubbers that are poking up through the bottom of the bag. If you just kind of lightly jostle stuff around, it's not going to work. You really have to get in there and do a scrub. And that's why you don't want to put too many clothes inside this bag. If you get too many clothes in there, it doesn't work the greatest. And you can see this bag does not leak. Not from this end, not from this end, not from the sides. A completely water sealed, watertight bag. When you are done your scrubbing with the scrubber, go ahead and take the clothes somewhere where you're able to dispose of gray water. So you don't want that to be near any streams. You don't want it to be near campsites, especially if it's in bear country. And you just want to make sure you follow the regulations for the disposal of gray water, no matter where you are. So we've dumped the water and we're almost ready for the rinse cycle. But we want to make sure that we get as much of that soapy water off of the clothes before we put fresh water in here to give them a rinse. So the easiest way to do that is just open up the top of the bag, cinch it with one hand at the top, give it just one spin, let the clothes fall in the bottom here, and then you're just going to wring it out. You can kind of loosen up on that grip as you need to. This way you don't have to worry about those soapy clothes falling on the ground. Ha! Ah, there we go. Now we're ready for the rinse cycle. So we got the soapy clothes all wrung out. I'm going to go ahead and just take the cap off this Reliance jug here. This is a great jug, whether you're transporting drinking water or water to wash dishes or stuff like this. It's just fabulous. It's a great size. Not too big. Very manageable. I'm just going to dump the rest of this water right in here. This is the rinse cycle. And same thing, I'm going to fold her down. Same thing as before. Put it on its side. Open up the little air valve to let the air out. There we go. And just give it another quick little scrub just to make sure everything gets rinsed really well. You don't need to scrub as thoroughly during the rinse cycle. Just kind of slosh things around a little bit. Make sure everything gets a little taste of fresh water. Then you can go dump your fresh water. Now that we got the rinse cycle done and I've wrung out the clothes, we're ready for the dry cycle. Now you could go ahead and just throw them right on the line if you don't mind, but they're still pretty drippy. So I'm going to hand wring every item. And I'm just going to lay them out on this microfiber towel. I find that using this microfiber towel really speeds up the drying process in case you're washing them at camp before supper and then you have to pack up and go home the next day. So once you get your outfit laid out on this microfiber towel, you can just go ahead and you can just start to roll that microfiber towel. Just go ahead, roll that microfiber towel. I'd recommend doing this on like a picnic table or something because I am picking up a little bit of uh, the debris from the ground doing it this way. So if you've got a picnic table, that's the ideal method. Let's go ahead, roll that off. And then what I do, Kind of give it a little stomp on. Now, if you don't have clothespins with you, don't worry about it. That's not a big deal. The important thing is that you have a piece of paracord or something that you can make a clothesline out of. If you don't, you can try to find some low hanging branches and just kind of hang your stuff to dry there. And you can just throw your clothes over the top. But since I've got the clothespins, I'm going to go ahead and hang up the clothes. Once you get the clothes hung up, you can just hang up that microfiber towel that you use to help dry them right on the line with the clothes.
Now the scrubber bag comes in two sizes. This is a large size and this bag weighs a total of five ounces and it's made out of a 20D nylon so it's really puncture and tear resistant. It's really going to hold up but they do also make a smaller version which weighs 2.5 ounces which is half the capacity of this bag. This is a really great way to wash your clothes while you're on the move. Now, if you're just going camping for the weekend, you're probably just going to bring your clothes home and throw them in the washer at home. But if you're on an extended stay, like maybe you're doing a road trip or a canoe trip, then having something portable like this is a nice option. So that way you just don't have to spend all afternoon waiting around at a laundromat or being in the middle of nowhere and trying to even find a laundromat. So it's nice to know that this is at least an option. If you're interested in replicating this laundry system, at your own campsite, go ahead and check the links in the description below where you can find a list of all the products I've used today. And if you're wondering what's the best and most efficient way to do your dishes while camping, well, go and click over here and I'll see you guys over on that video. Until next time, folks, we'll see you on the trail.